The Fat Controller is always looking for ways to improve his railway. He noticed that the traffic on the Farquhar branch was increasing and decided to do an experiment. When Daisy found out what he had done, she was astounded at what she saw. The Fat Controller was standing right next to a diesel rail car just like her. Holy smokes! Did you clone me? I was feeling you'd say something like that, but no. This is one of your sisters, Daisy. Her name is Rose. Have we met? I doubt it. I have hundreds of siblings. Though I must say there aren't many that were designed to be one unit instead of two. More and more passengers are coming to this branch line, and I thought it would be suitable to have another rail car. I brought her on trial to see how it would work. After the Fat Controller had left, the other engines came to meet her as well. Unfortunately, Rose did not seem too pleased. Pleased to meet you, Rose. Charming. I don't mean to be rude, but I am a bit surprised by how many steam engines are still working here. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. They may be old, but they're still quite useful. We'll see. All I can tell you is that whilst I may not be quite up to date anymore, I'm still highly sprung. I'll get this, um, branch line in order. A huge wave of oh no, not again swept through the other engines. Daisy felt very embarrassed. Also, by God, it's very smelly in here. It's bad for my swerves. And whatever is that rubbish? Oh, come on. That's not even original. We've heard that before. The next day, Rose was to tag along with Daisy on a passenger trip all the way up to Ulfstead Castle. Daisy was surprised to see that Rose was already at the station when she arrived. My goodness, you're so early. The train doesn't leave until 10. What else was I going to do all morning? Doze like a pig? Now come on and get buckled up. Rose was attached to Daisy facing the opposite way. Daisy thought it a good time to teach some sense into Rose. I understand that this railway may not be as, well, technologically advanced as you're used to, and I felt the exact same way when I first arrived. But over time, I started to quite like these engines, and we're all now very good friends. Well, good for you. I just don't see any way I can work with them. The guard blew his whistle, and the two diesel rail cars set off. At first, Rose was content rolling along the line, but soon got tired of stopping at each station. What is the point of all these stations? How much further? Oh, we're not even halfway yet. Well, that's just brilliant. I'm tired. Some of these places are hardly even villages. They're just a few farmhouses that- All right, I get your point. Rose was especially not happy at the sharp bends. This isn't a railway, it's a roller coaster. These bends are way too tight for my swerves, and the hills are exhausting. At last, the two arrived at Ulfstead Castle. What on earth is this? A whole railway station just for a castle? You mean we struggled up that hill for this? Daisy was quite relieved when the journey was over. I tell you, that rose is so snobbish. Well, it's not like you weren't when you first arrived. I tell you, history is repeating itself. Uh, I guess you're right. Oh, I feel so embarrassed about the way I behaved back then. Well, you did learn eventually, though, so maybe Rose will as well. I'll try to talk some sense into her. Just then, Percy's driver came with some news. Percy, Rose has refused to take the milk. We must go and fetch it. Okay, that's not even funny. 
Rose was now taking passengers on her own. She felt very pleased with herself, but at the end of the day, the fat controller was not happy. You will do the work that is given to you. We're not asking you to pull a whole train. It's just one tanker. Rose was very angry. So angry that the next day she was rough with the passengers. They don't like being bumped around. I'm not bumping them around. Ugh, I just can't believe the nerve of some people on this railway. Making me pull along a dirty milk tanker. I'm a rail car, not a smelly old freight diesel. You know, I had that exact attitude too when I first came here. And I refused to take any freight. But I quickly learned that if I kept up that behavior, I would have been sent away in disgrace. Fat Controller is not too kind to lazy engines. Huh. On a railway like this, I would have definitely gone with the latter option. This railway is far too large for my swerves. In fact, today I have to go all the way back to that wretched castle again. Rose went off in a huff. Daisy could see that trouble was brewing, and she was most certainly right. Rose continued to ride roughly all the way up to Ulfstead Castle. The passengers were not pleased at all. What a rotten ride! Where's Daisy? We don't want this old rattling drag racer! Rose was furious. I'm not taking any more of those wretched passengers! So there! Oh, come on, no nonsense. Let's get you onto the turntable to turn around. But when he pulled the throttle, Rose angrily rocketed towards the turntable. But she couldn't stop herself and went right through the buffers and a brick wall. And before she knew it, she was face down in the castle moat. Oh, crap. Well, you're right. You're not taking any more passengers today. Oh, dear. Help! Percy and Toby soon came to the rescue, and Rose was pulled back onto the rails by the breakdown train. Thank you. That was actually quite quick. I'm very sorry I was rude to you. You steam engines are quite useful, after all. That's all right. We'll help you back to the shed. When she arrived back at the shed, the fat controller was waiting and was furious. It's a miracle you're still in one piece. What on earth were you thinking? I wasn't, sir. I'm sorry. That kind of behavior is not acceptable on my railway. It seems that you are obviously not capable of being really useful. Daisy was sitting nearby, and although she agreed that Rose was very reckless, she knew she had to say something. Sir, I understand what Rose did was extremely stupid and dangerous, and I will say she is quite lazy and stubborn, there's no denying that. That being said, you must remember that I was extremely lazy and stubborn too when I first arrived, but your grandfather was very forgiving and gave me another chance. It's your decision, of course, but I just wanted you to know that. The Fat Controller thought and thought. You know what? You're absolutely right, Daisy. Of course, you didn't have an accident, but I get your point. He then turned to Rose. What you did today was very bad, and you won't quite be off the hook. But I believe you deserve a second chance. What do you say? Well, I've learned quite a lot today. These two steam engines were very helpful and quickly got me back onto the rails, even after I had been so rude. I truly thank them for that, and I have more respect for steam engines now. And this is quite a lovely railway, but I'm afraid it's just not for me. I'm not used to the long distances like that and sharp curves. I just don't think I'd fit in that well. I would much rather return to my lovely branch line. I hope you understand. Of course we do. Perhaps you could visit sometime. That would be lovely. And thank you for sticking up for me, Daisy. You are a really good sister indeed. It was from personal experience, and I just had to say something. You're very welcome. We all deserve second chances. <laughs>